This one is titled Strength. I'm sorry. It's a bobcat, and over on the other side of this river, you can't see it, but there is a deer that he is uh, planning on having a meal out of, I'm sure. <laughs> That's a string. Okay. On a trail. Okay. Right. This is two moose fatty. So many of the fox friends have the fallen log, you know, with the um, you know, broken limbs, where the limbs have been broken off. That uh, seems to be somewhat of a trademark. But this one is untitled. Okay, this is a different type of Elmer Lewis work. This is Washington at headquarters. Can you see it? Okay. This is Washington at the Battle of Mama. When I first saw the Washington Prince, the Revolutionary War, it was very difficult for me to uh, believe that Fox was also doing this type of work. But there seems to be no end to his versatility. Now this one is a little calendar and it's titled The Grip of Winter. It's a very pretty snow scene. Number 17 is a night scene and it is untitled. It is done in dark purples, blues, very pretty, but quite unlike the animal prints. Okay. This is a campfire scene and it is untitled. We have several Fox campfire scenes, but this one is an Elmer Lewis. Okay. This one is titled Safe and Secure. Two more lines. And the title of this is Discretion is the Better Part of Valor. That is the Elmer Lewis. We have one print of Capelli. And if anyone else has discovered one, they need to come forth with it. Because this is all that I've ever heard of. And the title of this is Newborn Chicks. Does anyone else have another Capelli? Well, this was given by the Fox family as one of the names. That was a possibility. Okay, now we're going to George Turner. There are three known pseudonyms by George Turner. The first one, of New England Showers. And this is somewhat different, but it, the colors are beautiful. I'm sorry. This 
these two were mixed up. This is off New England Shores. The other one was Need Sunset Skies. I'm sorry, they were out of, I got my titles out of order. But I think Pat Gibson has an oil that, that's very similar to this. Okay, we have one more, uh, Turner. <coughs> I think we missed it. Yeah. There it is. The Silvery Divide. <coughs> that is not a favorite of mine, but uh, it is pretty when it's bright and the colors are good. Now we're going to go to George White. And this one is titled, At the Foot of Mount Rainier. That is mine, and it is not a good print, <laughs> as you can see. And okay, the next one, Silvery Wonderland. He did a lot of silvery. And okay, the next one. Silvery grandeur. This has is a lot of green in this one. Okay. <coughs> Girl of the Golden West. Do you see the uh, girl's face in the clouds? This is what this cowboy is thinking of. Girl of the Golden West. Sentinel of the Night. This is fairly just a nature scene. On the Trail. The two. I guess those are them. I'm not up on dogs, so. Hunting dog setters. English setters. All right. Okay. And this is titled All Set. Are those some more English setters? As I say, I, I do not know dogs that well. Okay, now, Mark has some information on Muslim. He, he has some more publisher records that we're going to look at now before we use his slides. The same record. As you notice, it says W. I looked at it a lot. I'm sure that's a W. W mustn't, and in parentheses, R.A. Fox. And down under the remarks, you'll notice that on 10 20 of 21, it was delivered by Fox. So once again, I think that's pretty conclusive proof that W mustn't is a possibility. Yes, I believe the slide that uh, Dolores has is of H. Musson. And to this point, uh, Patricia is still looking for H. Musson in the records. Another uh, comment on this one would be that, according to the painting record, this was never printed. There aren't any records of the place being made. That doesn't mean that this painting wasn't sold to another publishing company, however. That then it may have been done, but Thomas D. E. Murphy did not print this picture. Okay, I guess we can switch back to the slide. <coughs> that proves that Mustard is in truth a pseudonym. In the front of the book, uh, page 43 of the Fox book, <coughs> H. Musson was written in parentheses above R.A. Fox 
in the name of the Army Base on one of the painting records from the Thomas D. Murphy Company. This is what led people to believe that Muslim could possibly be a pseudonym and this proves it. Now we're going to look at this slide. I do not have any myself, but uh, Bart Kratz and Pat Gibson were kind enough to furnish the slides for this. Now most of his are untitled. Yeah, I think we skipped we skip one according to this list. An interesting family should be first. All right, so it's not. Maybe we'll run off that. Okay, this is just a, a garden scene, uh, typical flowers. Um, the I, to me, uh, ageless, um, or mustn't, the, uh, the prints were not, um, maybe as bright and pretty as some of the other box. But we'll go on and look at the rest of them. I hear rumors that these aren't Muslims, that they're Lewis's. H. Right. <laughs> I said, I think we skipped. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. If they did not look like Muslims. They looked like the Lewis's. And, and I, I am losing my mind. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now, we'll go over again. This one is figure 407 in the book, and it's untitled. It's a typical garden scene. The colors are not as pretty and bright to me. Okay, the next one. This is 408 in the book. And it is untitled. Another garden scene. And this is Mark Kratz. Uh, print and it is titled Asters. I would like to <coughs> see for sure an H. Lewis, you know, I'm not uh, um, as fond of these pseudonyms as I am some of the others, but they are pretty. Okay. Now we're into muffins.